rehearsing for what you're on team world tour tell us about that chaps how's that going before we answer that how comes he gets the informal and i get the formal <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, we're just in rehearsals at the moment, and we start in just over two weeks, and it's going to be a very long one. What sort of frame of mind are you in at the moment? You know, with uh, what a year away in front of you. I think we're all very, you know, I think it's at this stage you get very excited about the tour. You know, it's been we've been sort of like putting it together for the last three or four months. It's really, you know, coming to the end of the rehearsals. We're playing well. And it's starting to sound good and uh, it's all very exciting you know, we feel we can play a gig, a gig now and we've just got a couple of weeks to go and uh, we, we know the crowds in Europe are really good anyway so it's, it's going to be just quite excited about it all. And with this album as well, I mean you've had some um, outside help which I don't think yeah. really you'd had before um, I mean what was the sort of thinking behind that, tell us about that Well in the past we've always had these sort of set rules where we just didn't use outside musicians and we wouldn't even repeat sounds twice uh, but we just our producer over the last couple of albums, Flood, has just sort of encouraged us to be not so narrow-minded. And on this album, we uh, used gospel singers, we used a, a pipe player, we used a full, a big orchestra, and we just used did some things that we didn't, didn't you know, don't normally do. And it, was, it turned out to be very exciting for us. So it was, it was a bit of a challenge as well. I mean, Martin. I mean, you sang a live vocal with um, the accompaniment of um, a 28-piece orchestra. What was that like to do? Well, it's, it, was, it was really exciting and, and so different for us because, you know, we're not very, uh, you know, nothing's very spontaneous in the studio with us. It's that usually we spend at least three weeks recording each track and then probably another week mixing it. And to actually just going and, and, and do the whole thing within three hours and have it finished, it's just, it's just so different from the, from the way we work that it just makes the whole thing very exciting. How do you feel that your songwriting has changed over the years? Still write about the same subjects. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all the same subjects, but uh, I, just, I think I do manage to put a different slant on them slightly. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it, really. I've got away with it for 13 years, and I'm going well. <laughs> <laughs> 13 years together. That's a long time, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I mean, are there sort of like defined roles within the band now that you all have? I suppose so. It develops into that way, you know, and uh, we don't sort of, we don't really overlap our ro roles that much. I mean, Alan, for instance, he loves it in the studio, so we just let him do all the work in the studio, which is, suits me and Martin very good. Dave, Dave, of course, has really got into his singing, and uh, Martin, again, with songwriting, we don't sort of get in the way of that, you know. So where does that leave you? Doing nothing. <laughs> Now there's only one UK date so far this year, Crystal Palace Stadium, I think in July. Yeah. Um, what can everybody expect from that? What can we look forward to? It's going to be a, a day of gloom <laughs> <laughs> so far. I mean, Sisters of Mercy are definitely playing with us. And we, we just heard recently, I don't know if it's going to work out, but I'm just annoyed about and uh, interested. So could be a real sort of a gloomy day. I think it'd be a really good gloomy day. Right, if it's really cloudy. Really it's raining, raining yeah. and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are, we're aiming to have made the doomiest gig in the whole of the summer. <laughs>